if frustration was an Olympic sport, our next guest would win gold every time. That was a review in one of the newspapers. Uh, he's a comedian, actor, TV presenter, father, and since we last saw him, he is now a husband so as well. what do you do when you get married? You go off on a really long tour <laughs> on your own. He's currently on his Bit Much UK tour, back on our screens, co-hosting the 18th series of The Last Leg. Congratulations, Josh Widdicombe. Thank you very much, yes. Was it so successful, the wedding, that uh, oh. you needed to leave immediately? Yeah, honeymooning alone in Scunthorpe. Yes, please. <laughs> it I had to book in the tour at some point, and then we got the, put the wedding in, and then my agent was angry enough that the wedding had taken some of the tour, so the honeymoon was... Is, that a little bit, is it a little bit like when you're in a boy band and you can't admit to having a partner? I don't know. And your agent was like that. We're protecting your sex <laughs> symbol image. That's the thing. Yeah, you're that's still the thing. single for the purposes <laughs> of oh, the fans. Oh, yeah, too right. For the Whittakam fans in Scunthorpe. Of course, all those, all those middle-aged <laughs> families that come and see me, they need to know I'm single. <laughs> and did you suggest to your lovely wife, look, we could honeymoon around the country in oh, various B&Bs? Yes. Caravan. Well, do you know what the problem is? Because we've got a baby. Mm. I'm loving being in hotels. <laughs> <laughs> the lions I'm having are unbelievable. Do you know what? A work trip when you're up to your eyes with childcare sometimes oh, is a blessing. It's amazing. <laughs> I'll be going, yeah, Woking's a long way. I think I need to get a hotel for this one. <laughs> 45 minutes home, I'm not going to make it. So, look, you came in in May. Yeah. Uh, it was last time you were here, just before this, this started, mm. and the tour has now commenced and is going... Uh, how is it? How has it been? When you have a kid, you can't drink anymore because you lose the ability to drink. You've lost your edge. It was well, actually a moment in a hotel. Well, this was the moment when I realised I'd lost. So I went, I did a preview at Edinburgh Festival and went out with my friends and I thought, you know, I had a few drinks and got back at 2am and went to the hotel room. Keycard didn't work, we've all been there. Went down to the reception, I was... Like, come on, my key card's not working. Just want to get really room. Yeah. And he got the key card, he looked at it and he went, You are in the wrong hotel. <laughs> <laughs> key card for an entirely different hotel. Totally, I'd walked back into I've been in there two days. I'd, I'm so drunk, I'd gone to the wrong hotel. What? I had no way of finding my hotel in Edinburgh. And whose room were you trying to get into? I don't know, but they must have been <laughs> hearing me going, What the hell is going on at the door? <laughs> Imagine if it worked and I got in and that would have been even more lying. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, but like, what an awful tabloid story that would have yes, been. Yes, you don't. You're, uh, luckily, the security was good enough yes. on those key cards yeah. so uh, that stops you doing just it. Just after you came in to see us, uh, we filmed the Tim Point Lucky Stars new series that's going out next year. You were one of our guests, slated in, specifically requested by me. But a no I wanted, show. I wanted a last leg <laughs> special, to be honest, and you were the only one up for it. Uh, and what happened, Josh? I, my appendix burst. You? So, yeah, so I couldn't do tipping. And I was absolutely heartbroken because um, I genuinely was looking forward to it. I we, we thought he was do... trying to blag it. Yeah. And he was, and, and no, but it's be, real. And he I, was supposed I'm, to be doing I'm, the Bristol Comedy they, Festival and they didn't take you off the roster. I've got like... the emails. I've insisted that I'm first name on the team sheet for next series of Lucky Stars. So, you, so, so you actually exploded. I was in hospital and oh, they were like... It's nasty. It's nothing worse than turning to a doctor and going, am I going to be able to do tipping points? <laughs> <laughs> and him saying no. No. And him saying no. Saying no. But as a result, you cut Ben Shepherd out of one of the episodes of Hypothetical. I didn't cut him out of Hypothetical. You're not going to be on his show. He can't be on yours. Right, right. So we had a question on Hypothetical about you, uh, which Joe Lysa uh, had... The wonderful uh, Joe Lysa. The wonderful Joe Lysa. Who did do question. Tipping Point Lucky Stars, did by the way. Did do Tipping Point. Oh, here we go. Yes. Here comes the guilt. It didn't make the edit. Didn't make the edit, what? Ben. It's a very tight edit. It's not like one of these <laughs> two-hour-long breakfast shows. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we pack Get anything in. <laughs> and taking the other <laughs> yeah. exploding appendix. Mode. Oh, yeah. fantastic stuff. Um, well, it's it, fantastic to see you. Are you? Have we dragged you away from the tour this morning? Where uh, were I'm you last Coven night? Uh, no, I was in London last night. I'm in Coventry tonight. And then, um, where am I this weekend? I mean, Maybe Brighton... with your family? No, no. Brighton and Basingstoke. Brighton and Basingstoke. Uh, Josh, it's lovely to see you. Thank you Thank so much you for popping in. Glad Cheers. you're in fine health as well. Thank you.